Right guys, how's it going? Um, I'm supposed to have unit in about five hours, but to be honest with you, I can't be really asked uh, in going in. I'm hoping uh, a lot of you can sort of uh, understand how I'm feeling in this situation. I've got a seminar at like three o'clock, and to be honest with you, I can't really be bothered. Um, I don't see the point in them. I don't know if anyone else has been to uni, but usually I have seminars and lectures. Seminars are basically like classrooms when you're in like year seven. And then you have lectures where it's just basically a tutor speaking for an hour over a PowerPoint. So, yeah, I'm supposed to have one at three o'clock, just one. Um, and seeing that I go uni in Sheffield and I'm not currently living in Sheffield, it'll take me about an hour, an hour and a half to actually drive there and park up. Um, it seems like a no-go today. I can't really be bothered uh, in doing that. So I'm deciding to uh, make another video this morning and then I'll probably just go to the gym a little bit later on. But in this race... We are around the Nürburgring in the Vintage Le Mans series. Um, we started on, was it pole for this one? I don't know why I started at the front for this one. Um, I can't remember why, but uh, this one we have a bit of a battle with a guy called Migulishon, I think it is. Uh, mostly because we make a mistake coming into the pits and he manages to overtake us. So yeah, that is basically the race uh, for this one. Um, I did this quite a while ago, I can't remember when it was it must have been a couple of weeks ago i haven't watched the full race and as you can see this is early on in the series because i'm only level 22 uh, in this car but yeah that's the, that's the race today it's an interesting one it's more interesting than the uh one yesterday which was it seemed to be a bit boring it didn't seem to perform well on the uh, youtube studio even though there's like only 30 views on it and i must say it is a bit sort of depressing to see that but you know, you've got to go on the grind, you've got to build it up. Um, I just don't enjoy making the sort of highly edited videos anymore. It's, it's, it, I've never really liked editing. I don't know if anyone else has tried it or has YouTube. It's it's not fun to, to really do unless, you know, you enjoy that stuff. But to be honest, like clipping up loads of clips, putting sound effects on, you know, doing zoom-ins, all that sort of stuff. It's just, it doesn't interest me. Even though you can, if you get it right, you can get, you know, like 100,000 views, but... It doesn't really interest me that much. I'd rather just make content just about racing, just about, you know, having a bit of fun. This is the only game at the moment I can really do racing multiplayer on because um, all the other games are, are a bit rubbish to do. But this is the only really uh, game I enjoy doing at the moment. Um, I don't know if anyone else have... There's a few games at the moment I enjoy, which is Pal World as well. It's under a lot of controversy as well and... There's a lot of hate towards it, but it's one of like the biggest games ever to release. I think it's sold like over seven million copies, and I think like it's got one of. I think it's like the second highest concurrent player base on Steam ever. I think PUBG's got like three million, and uh, Pal has got two million. And I will say it's not the most polished game. It's not the most you know optimized, amazing game. I do play it on Xbox. Um, I do have a a gaming laptop. I've had it for quite a while, but. Uh, for some reason I can't just sort of get in the mood to game on it um, I don't know what it is about it I, I play football manager on it that's a that's a big thing I play because it's just sort of you can sort of passively play that you can watch YouTube whilst just sort of you know managing a, managing a team but when it comes to sort of proper gaming um, yeah I don't I can't really enjoy doing that on a on a gaming laptop it's just sort of very straining because you've got a sort of hunch over and it's the screen's really small and it's a bit clunky on the keyboard it's just sort of it's not my sort of go-to even though it could run some of these games um yeah i just don't prefer it. i prefer just to sort of s sit down chill out and just play it on an xbox so yeah um i've been playing pal world quite recently and it is a lot of fun to be honest with you um a lot of people say it is like ark and pokemon together which which is true um, like I said, it's not the most polished game, but you can still have a lot of fun with games which aren't polished. Um, you can think back to, you know, games on like PS2 and stuff, like their graphics and, you know, the glitches on it and stuff. They weren't great games, but you could still have a lot of fun on them. They were really creative, and I think that's what a lot of the gaming industry has lost, including Forza. There's a lot of that creativity, that innovation and, and new things added to the game. There's not really much innovation anymore it's just basically it's because of these corporate big corporate companies like turn 10 and microsoft where they have deadlines they stick to it you know they only can do certain stuff you know they can't be creative you gotta make this you gotta make that 
and it just don't allow for it and I think the gaming industry needs a big turnaround uh, in that sort of avenue where they need to be more in innovative more creative um, I don't even mind like if if you wait like an extra year to release a game in a good state then yeah I'd appreciate that um, it's a bit like cyber was it cyber truck no not cyber truck Cy cyberpunk um, I can't believe I've got the name of that. I actually pre-ordered that game when it first sort of released and I was, I'll pop a hype for that game. I, uh, I absolutely loved the trailer and stuff and all of Keanu Reeves stuff in it. I absolutely loved it. And when it came out, my goodness, you couldn't even like, I got it on Xbox and you couldn't even like play the story in like 30 FPS. It was just lagging everything and there was no NPCs walking around. I think that was probably the worst game I ever played and it just ruined my sort of, that, that, I think that was the first game where it sort of ruined my love for games because um, I was so hyped about it and then it just sort of crushes your dreams and it's like, oh, sick. Because I think at that point GTA 5 was out for like, you know, like eight years and that was getting a bit uh, boring and repetitive and I wanted like a different open world game. Red Dead was great, but um, I actually really enjoyed uh, Red Dead. That's probably one of, one of my favourite games of all time, but... Yeah, I was really hyped for Cyberpunk and then it released in that state and I know they've fixed it all now and they've made this whole marketing campaign about it with um, Idris Elba and stuff. But to be honest with you, it's, it's sort of, I'm, I'm not bothered about it anymore. You, you sort of ruined it on, on day one you, when you released a game in that state, uh, which is a bit unacceptable. So, it, it, fair play to him for fixing it, but to be honest, you don't release a game in that state at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I've sort of lost my love for that game. Um, but yeah in terms of gaming yeah i just played this and sort of pal world at the moment i've played a bit of hell at loose because i saw that old guy on tiktok i don't know if anyone else has seen him um i basically i saw him play it on tiktok live and i thought that actually it was pretty cool and it's it's very hardcore that game i don't know if anyone else has played it but it can be quite annoying you do like you know five minutes of running ten minutes of running and then you get like one shot it is a bit annoying but once you like sort of a lot of the game is about flanking and once you can sort of flank the enemy and you just sort of pick off people that's when it gets really satisfying it's like one of the best games in the mo in the world when that sort of happens because everyone's just sort of one shot so they're the sort of like main games at the moment um so of course like the f1 games coming out in, is it june uh, it releases or july um we'll have to see how that is i'm hoping they can do something a bit different but it is ea like i was saying where they've but these big corporate companies, they just ruin games. They're just so, you know, stick to this plan. You can't do that. You can't do this. You know, and it's all loot boxes and paying. And, you know, you pay £70 for a game and then you've got to pay, you know, £5 a month to get extra stuff. And it's just like, what? Um, it's a bit of a, of a scam. So, yeah, I'm hoping they can actually do something with F1 game. It's funny how I really enjoyed the F1 game for many years with Codemasters. Even though it wasn't the most like greatest game, but as soon as EA sort of joined, like the second game after, I just completely stopped playing it, and I can't think of anything in particular. I know they've kind of ruined career mode. The AI is just really bad. Um, it's so fluctuating for each race, so I like it to be realistic with career mode. That's what makes it fun. It's boring to win every race, so I like it to be realistic, and when. The AI fluctuates every race, like you can keep it on like 105 difficult effort, let's say Bahrain, and you're about on pace with your teammate, and then you go to Australia, and you're about, you know, a second ahead of your teammate, and it's just sort of, you've got to mess about with the AI, as you can see here, we, this is the the moment we make a mistake, coming into the pits, and it allows uh, Miguelishon to get through uh, in the Ferrari, and we do have a battle to the end of the race for first, but like I was saying with F1, the, the career mode, it's just... Yeah, that the AI ruined it for me. Um, it's just not that satisfying. It's very, it's been very stale for many years. I know they've done my team, but I never really played my team. I, I like just to do the single player driver career. Um, and yeah, it's just been very stale. Like the driver transfers, not the driver transfers, but the the driver contracts. So when you move teams, it's just too easy, and you can join any team you want. And yeah, I don't find that stuff any fun. Um, I'd say the, the OG one is F1 2006. That was amazing career mode. Where you can only pick like three bottom teams and you can be a test driver and all that sort of stuff. That's just what makes like career mode fun. Not just you can pick any team you want and then halfway through the season 
even if you are competing in like Williams at the back of the grid, you can join Red Bull halfway through the season. It's just like, it's you want a bit of a challenge. It's not fun when you, that's available to you because of course you're going to pick that. Um, so yeah, the AI is not good and sort of a few of the features are a bit outdated. So hopefully they can bring something a bit new to the F1 game, but I very much doubt it. EA never do. If you look at uh, FIFA, that's just been the same game for the past, what, like 10 years? So, yeah, I think that's going to be the same in the F1 game. They're just going to absolutely ruin it, saturate it to the uh, absolute uh, rim and, uh, yeah, just not sort of do anything with the game, which is a bit, you know, depressing, a bit sad. So I really love that game in the past, even though I remember, like, F1 2015, that game was, like, really bad, even in 2014, but I still had a lot of fun on him. I don't know why, but I just had a lot of fun on him. And then I think what, when was the first EA game? I think it was F1 22. And that it was that handling, um, that was like one of the worst handling you can have. Apart from F1 2014, that were really bad. But F1 22, the handling on that was so bad. Um, you know, you'd like over, um, oversteer in like six gear, uh, going down the straight and stuff. And it was so like weird getting on the power. Like you sometimes just spin around for no reason. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a rubbish game. And then, yeah, they've kind of, in my eyes, they've ruined 23 as well. So... Hopefully for F124 they can fix a few things, but I've got no hope for them uh, really that much. But yeah, like I was saying, um, we're currently chasing down Migulishon uh, in first position. See the guys behind in third and fourth aren't really catching us. It's the usual. Um, we can see we're on the second to last lap now. We're both going a bit wide uh, around the Nürburgring. Um, seeing this was one of my first races in this car um, yeah I'm, there's going to be a lot of mistakes in, in this race uh, no surprise and I think the Ferrari 512S is a bit faster uh, around here but yeah um, I'm going to go to the gym a bit later on after this um, I'm going to do a, a quick back workout and then um, yeah, chilling out for the rest of the day. Like I said, I could, I could go to uni. It's at three o'clock. It'll take me. It'll take me just over an hour to get there. An hour and a half, like I was saying. So I'd have to set off at like half one. But that's usually when I go to the gym. I try to go like five or six times a week. Have one rest day. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen Sam Sulek as well. I really enjoy his content, and I'm sort of trying to go down that path of just being a bit more authentic, a bit more real. Just talk about my life a bit more and what's going on. Um, alongside the content which is here but yeah that's sort of my day to day I've got uni um, I've got the gym um, big football fan um, I'm a big city fan so I don't know if anyone out there is going to be absolutely hating that but I'm a big city fan so yeah I think City are playing tonight in the FA Cup uh, against Spurs so that should be interesting as well so I've got a few things going on today and then I think in like a, a few weeks we're actually doing the Otley run um, if anyone is not from sort of Northern England or uh, are from England, the UK, the Otley Run is basically like a pub crawl. So you basically go from pub to pub. I think there's like it's like 23 pubs in it. Of of course we don't like. Uh, I don't think we've ever done 23 pubs because a lot of them are like uni pubs, which go into like the city centre. I think at the end, but we end up doing like you know like 15. I think it is 12 to 15. And uh, yeah, you dress up usually, and it's going to be uh, a bit of a a messy one as usual I think I've done it about four or five times in the past and it's always the hangover the next day is always like really bad so I'm not really looking forward to that but it is I would recommend to anyone who is uh, from the UK to do it because it is such a good day out I would recommend doing it in the summer because uh, it is freezing in the winter and you most of the time you got you got to stay inside but most of the time it is very like packed like it's you sandwiched inside so we'll be doing that in a few weeks time uh, I think we're dressing up as Mario char characters. We've done superheroes before, and uh, what else? We've done jockeys and uh, characters starting with the uh, first letter of your name, so that should be fun to do. But coming on to the racing once again, we're on the last lap. This is where it's crucial. We're battling with Miguelish on into a few of these corners here, and coming into the sort of hairpin at the bottom, he goes flying on into the gravel, and that is easy enough, allowed us... It's going to first position and that should be a win once again. So, like I say, I'm going to change up the races a little bit uh, again. I'm going to still start from the back, but 
instead of showing like um, last to first wins I'm gonna maybe show more of the interesting races a bit more uh, I don't want to just show us uh, winning all the time because it doesn't happen um, every race it, you know I, I do spend a lot of time practicing and it can happen a few times but it doesn't happen every race and I, I want to show the more interesting races or races where people just sort of ram into me and then I end up finishing like fourth, fifth and um, they can still be interesting so you might see a, a bit of a change with that sort of content but yeah I hope you enjoyed this sort of different change um, to chatting to you guys I want to sort of chat a bit more about you know personal stuff um, not so much about the content and uh, yeah just sort of get to know you guys but that is the Vintage Le Mans series in the 4GT Mark II around the Nürburgring and we do end up winning it uh, in front of Miguel Ishan, um after we made that mistake coming into the pits.